straight face. Handle with care. Gee, I wonder what that means. Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Got another armor test today. This one's a little on the special side. Someone contacted me and sent me this custom level who knows whatever body armor plate. Hey, you're wearing different clothes. Really? I guess I am, aren't I? This is actually a different day. This is actually a whole week ahead. I had to come out and re-record the introduction to this custom body armor versus 50 BMG test because the batteries on my microphone died and I didn't know it until after I shot the first shot. So there was pretty much a good intro and then basically what I went on to explain was it's a couple of plates put together and the person that sent it to me wanted me to shoot the biggest and baddest 50 BMG that I could get my hands on against it and then depending on whether it penetrated or not he would build some subsequent plates and send them to me. The plate itself weighs 14 pounds. We're gonna shoot M2 AP at it. If it stops it, we have the M20 API and some armor piercing incendiary tracers as well. We'll set up at approximately 75 to 100 yards. We have our Prochrono Digital as always. For any of you that haven't been to my channel before and are first time viewers, this is our clay briefcase. It's essentially a 14 by 14 box steel about three inches deep filled with a non-hardening clay it is close to the nij clay but i can't keep it at a consistent temperature outside so it should give us a good representation of back face this thing's over like 70 pounds it's a, a beast as i mentioned today we're going to use the black tip m2 ap and 50 bmg this is essentially a 710 grain bullet with a pretty hefty hardened steel core i'll try to roll some little thumbnails down below like I've been doing in some of my newer videos so you can see the bullet up close so I'm not having to walk back and forth with the camera and you can actually see them pretty clear. I've got our monitor mounted to the side of the desk here that you should be able to see the velocity off of and I got a, that was a, just an M33 ball that I ran out of this beforehand. This ammunition was actually donated by Denver Bullets so they essentially sponsored this test. I'll have to put a link to their website on some of the non-YouTube channels, but if you go do a Google search and type in Denver Bullets, you can definitely find them. So thank you for helping me out with that. Let's rock and roll. Make sure our GoPro is going. I'm gonna set these bullets over here because they'll probably knock them off the table. desk is not the biggest for this gun. And I hope we don't shoot my chronograph. We should be hitting right in the middle of the plate. I rocked that briefcase down there. Let's go check it out, and then we should have room, depending on what happened, to fire maybe one or two more rounds. Maybe hard to see, but that plate is smoking. Looks like we've got no alumina inside there for construction. I don't know if it's silica carbide or boron. I'll have to ask the guy who put it together before I take that off there. Let's look at the back. Um, I think maybe it penetrated based on the ceramic that I see there. What do you guys think? I went back to using my iPhone for the up close stuff. That way you can get a good picture of it. And I don't have to like drag the cameras around. Oh my God. Um, that penetrated. Look at that. Oh my God. Um, that didn't stand a chance. Rut row raggy. Now there's a big hole in my clay. 
Holy, holy mumbo jumbo. I think maybe we should hit it with the M33 ball just to see. Okay, since our black tip penetrated, we'll step down to some just standard M33 ball. This is like 630 to 645 grain full metal jacket. It does have a steel core. I'll have to have the hardness tested. I haven't had that done yet. I'll have to annotate down below. But I do have a core picture that you can see. We'll go for the lower right of the plate and see what we get. Make sure our GoPro is going. GoPro is going. This bipod on here is a beast. I want to guess this should stop it because we've, well, we've heard anyways that a level four could stop M33 at about 100 yards. We're definitely going to have to test that another time. We'll go for the lower right hand part of the plate. Velocity 25, 44. Here's our shot down here. I would say it's a fair hit. I mean, not really a fair hit because body armor isn't designed, at least personal protection body armor, isn't designed to stop 50 BMG, but we're a good four inches away from that shot. Um, what do you guys think? I'm gonna need some more clay. Let me show you the backside here. Um, I need a new backer too. Rut row, raggy. Uh, Jeez. Let me pull this off here. Jeez. Thing's still smoking. That row. <laughs> well, that uh, 14 pound plate didn't fare so well against my testing, did it? Well, Felix, he's the guy who contacted me and donated this plate. It looks like the black tip AP was just too much for this guy. After so, pretty much most of the strike face was probably pretty cracked. So it probably explains why that ball went through there. There's ceramic just pouring out everywhere. Those holes in my poor clay. I'm going to have to get a hammer and rebuild that and put a new backer on there for next time. So it looks like we need a different design to stop 50 BMG. Now, I do have a couple other level four plates at home that we'll have to test while I have the Armalite AR50 with us to see how they'll do against ball. I'd like to thank Denver Bullets for sponsoring this video, as well as my Patreon supporters who helped me fund buying ammunition rubber straps, which I didn't break this time, and all this other random stuff that you see me use here at the range. I'll put any relevant links that I'm allowed to in the description below. Until next time, catch you at the range.